I'm gonna have to science the sh out of this. Have you ever stopped to think, what's the future of the human race? Our only chance of long-term survival is to spread out into space. Uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. Mars is where the science is, it's where the challenge is, and it's where the future is. Mars is the future. At least, that's according to the scientists and billionaires. Experts assert that eventually, Earth will experience some sort of doomsday event. And so, we must start colonizing another planet now, because it's the only way that the human race will survive. But is it? Let's talk about Mars colonization for a second. What steps we need to take to make life a viable option on our red neighboring planet? Well, for one thing, the atmosphere on Mars is composed very differently than Earth's. This causes more radiation to reach its surface, the general temperature of the planet to be far cooler, and the atmospheric pressure to be amazingly weak. In order to walk around outside on Mars without the assistance of extraordinary amounts of technology, we'd have to both alter the composition of Mars' atmosphere and reinforce or thicken it by a lot. Now, this isn't an impossible task, but let's just say that altering the atmosphere of an entire planet would not be a simple task. Let's be blunt. It will take centuries to terraform Mars. Mars is a gigantic planet, roughly half the size of the planet Earth. In the same vein, we need to create a magnetosphere around Mars to protect us from potentially deadly things like solar flares and solar winds. Now, the best theory experts have on how to do this is to literally jumpstart Mars' core so that it acts in a way that's similar to Earth's. But that's a feat that many scientists are skeptical that we could ever achieve. And in fact, just attempting it would cost trillions and trillions of dollars. Of course, if we didn't do it, humans could be wiped out by the very first solar flare that happens roughly every 11 years. Then, of course, there's the issue of eating and drinking water regularly, which is a pretty integral part of survival. Although there is evidence that Mars soil may potentially be viable to farm with, its composition is far different than Earth's. This means that it would require a completely new style of farming because, as far as we know, there are absolutely no microbes in Mars soil. And although Matt Damon made it look kind of easy to farm in The Martian, it would be just a tad more difficult than that in reality. But just a tad. On the bright side, there is proof of water frozen under the polar ice caps on Mars. And this would help when it comes to drinkable water, but that would require lots of effort. Think cars and trucks, in order to bring it to the civilians in the Mars colony. Now this is problematic because it's a time-consuming, expensive process to transport heavy materials from one planet to another. It's not like we can just drive a truck or send a plane to deliver materials. We have to travel through space for almost a year to get anything from Earth to Mars, which is a pretty long time to wait if there's ever an emergency situation over there. Now all of this is to say that surviving on Mars is 100% possible and an absolutely worthy, though ambitious, cause to be undertaken by mankind. But it doesn't have to be the only future we plan for. In fact, it definitely shouldn't be. Colonizing requires far more effort than surviving on Earth even in the worst possible scenario. Now, if there are droughts or food shortages on Earth, we have the infrastructure already built that can help us surmount these obstacles. For example, we can desalinate Earth's oceans. We can create synthetic meat. If the ultimate end of Earth is a huge planet destroying asteroid, NASA's fairly confident that they can deflect or destroy them through the use of rockets and other advanced technologies. Of course, it makes sense to distribute human beings across the galaxy, because space exploration inspires people as nothing else can, and it also leads to a host of new technologies and innovative ideas. But Earth has always been our home. Humans have traveled all over Earth, and we know it really well. We have all the resources we need to live here, and if we treat our planet with the respect it deserves, we can survive here for a long, long time. And we have the power to decide what happens next on this pale blue dot. So let's make it last.